And you can speak loudly. You don't have to. Don't worry if if people are going to think you're speaking too loud. That's okay. So, what is your name? I'm called And where are you from? I'm from Gulu. And what part of Gulu is? What part of Uganda is Gulu? Northern Uganda. And how old are you, Collins? I'm 15 years old. Tell me about your family, Collins. About our family, for me, I'm, I'm the only boy in our family. I have, we have three sisters, and we are staying with my mom. My father died in 2002. And are you in school now? What, lo what level of school are you in? I'm in senior two. And what school do you attend? It's Hope North. The war has affected me a lot. Me personally, I was even abducted. I stayed in the bush. Was given heavy load. I was given heavy loads to carry. That that's one effect. Other people were killed in the northern Uganda. Even my relatives were killed. That is the effects of first. And my father was even killed by the LRA. That is as a result of war in northern Uganda. So the war has affected me so much. So tell me, Collins, how long were you in the bush with the rebels? By that time when I was abducted, I was still young. So I did not stay for so long. I stayed only for one week. But how I was treated there, I was, I was treated badly, as if I was not young. But I did not stay there for so long. I stayed for one week only, then I, I escaped. So do you remember how old you were when you were abducted? By that time, if I was something like nine years. So you were nine years old? Yes. And how old are you now? I'm 15 years old. So now you're in school at Hope North, and now you've become a part of the Let Art Talk program. Tell me how this program uh, has affected you, or what are the things that you enjoy about um, the art program? This program has, I've enjoyed a lot in this program. At first, I did not know how to print, how to paint, how to make tie and dye. But now, as a result of this program, I know everything. And even since, I'm, since I was born, I've never reached Kampala. But as a result of this program, it has made me to come to Kampala. Hey, so now you're a traveler. Yes. Hey. So how long have you been involved with Let Art Talk? In this program? Yes. Is now approaching to three months. Ah, so had you ever done art before? No. So has what you've, what you've done in the program with art, have you surprised yourself? Yes. Have you learned things about yourself that you didn't even know you were capable of doing before? Yes. That's very good. Is your artwork on display at Indira? Yes. Hey, so have you been able to see your work on display for others to see? Yes. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? I feel okay because I, I will be with that feeling that for me also I can do something. Hey, so through art you feel that you've accomplished something special? Yes. Do you think that your artwork will be able to tell a story to people? Yes. Very good. So tell me, Collins, what would you like to do when you're older? You know, as a student, you may not know what will happen in the future. So you have to plan for something like two and above. So I'm planning to be an artist, if possible. But if that fails, I would like to be an engineer, mechanical. Wow. So what is your hopes or your desires for your community back home in Gulu? So my hope for the people of Gulu and my family 
is just if possible the peace should be back because the northern people have suffered a lot from the war moreover for now is now for 20, 20 years constant without stopping blood has flown many people has died and other people are they have lost their relatives their parents so that is very painful that's very very painful so the only thing i'm just requesting if possible peace should be back in northern uganda Say, what is your name? I'm called Nalam Lucy. And how old are you, Lucy? I'm 17 years old. And where are you from? I'm from Pade, this Tell me a little bit about your family, your, if your parents are alive or if you have brothers and sisters. In our family, we are seven. Five girls and two, two boys. My father is a farmer. My mother is a businessman. Business then, my fa our firstborn is studying. And I'm a, I'm the follower of her. Now I I study in Hope now. The day when I reached to Hope now, I was welcomed by many people. Mr. Sam is the one who brought us in Hope now and some other students in Hope now. And what level of schooling are you in? I'm in senior to Hopno mm -hmm. Secondary and Vocational School. And how has the war affected you, Lucy? Those of we were in northern Uganda, then every day, every day, those of rebels, they will come to the, to the, to the district and they will start arresting other people caning, giving them heavy loads to carry. And they sometimes they, they, they burn the houses of the people and collecting the food. And if you go and dig, they'll just kill you from the, from the garden. They'll tell you that, what are you doing in the garden here? Do you want to survive or do you want to die? If you refuse, they'll just kill you. So how, how has Let Art Talk and your experience with art, have you learned anything from it or are you enjoying yourself and what you're doing? I've learned very many things. But the problems that people are facing and uh, sometimes people, they sleep hungry without food. So talk about Talk about the type of things that you've done as far as creating art. Like what type of things have you created or what sort of projects have you done? I've created many things like drawings, printings, tie and dye, and batik. So Lucy, what would you like to do when you get older? I would like to go and help my parents with it. Investing millet, sorghum, and helping her with it. Preparing food for our family. And what is your hope for your community and for the people in northern Uganda? My hope, I hope that the war should stop, then people should go back to their usual place the village, farming, digging, other things that they are in need of it. Thank you, Lucy.